Good morning, evening, or afternoon, everybody. It's Kago coming at you with another video. So today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the most coveted item in Season of Discovery right now, and that is the sleeping bag item. Now, the sleeping bag item allows you to get additional XP upon completion of this quest, so it's very very important that you do this as soon as possible for anyone that plans on leveling there's no level requirement you can just come here you can do this and you can get your sleeping bag as soon as possible but before we get into the video be sure to like comment and subscribe everything you guys do helps my channel grow helps me get discovered and helps me help as many people as possible which is the entire point of my channel so without further ado let's get into the video so the very first thing that you are going to do if you are horde you come right here to the barons at 4672 and you interact with this corpse right here it is a burnt corpse and then you will sit down and you will grab it and then it'll put you on this quest and the note you found so if you are alliance however you are going to do step two first which is going over to westfall and then you come here to the barons so very important that you guys know that i'm a horde player so i start here and now i have to go to westfall so the easiest way to get to westfall is to take the zeppelin from undercity and jump off of it on the way to gromgal since i'm a mage i'm just going to teleport there and i will show you guys the next step when we get there see you then Alrighty guys, so we have arrived at Westfall. It is at the Alexson Farmstead and we come right here to get the burnt out remains for the next part. You come right here and you click on it. This is the first step for the uh, Alliance. So you come here and get the burnt out remains. As Horde, you want to then come to this nailed plank right here, turns in that quest, and then you get the next step. So Alliance interacts with the remains, Horde interacts with the plank. So for step one of Horde, it is Baron's then here. For step two of the Horde, you come here and get this plank. If you are an Alliance player, you have to start here at these burnout remains, and then your step two is go to the Barons. I just wanted to re-emphasize that so you guys know exactly what to do. Then the next place is Sunrock Retreat, so I will see you when we get there. Alrighty, guys. So at just northeast of Sunrock Retreat, at about 50-50 corners, there's a long path that takes you up into the mountains, and you keep running along it until you're at about 40 50 which will be right about here as you can see we have some alliance people here as well but once you're here you just come here and you click on these objects and clicking on these objects complete this and you have to choose a reward i guess i will take a shovel because i already have a mining pick and then after you do that Alrighty guys, so after we clicked on that, we have to go over here to about 4050 up north and you have to jump across to this mound of dirt that you can see right here. As a mage, I'm just going to cheese this and I'm going to slow fall just so I can't mess it up. Um, just to make it nice and easy, but I'm pretty sure you can just run here, jump here and get it. So then we turn that in. You get a gold and some stuff right like that. And then we are on to the next step, which is going to be in the wetlands. So that will be pretty exciting. We have to go to the Lakomodan Dam. So I will see when we get there. Alrighty, guys. So we are here at the Stone Rot Dam in uh, Lakomodan. You have to go to right here and you jump down to this eagle figurine and there's also a long rifle that you can look down the place which is pretty cool but it's where this eagle figurine is that you just click right here that you saw me click and then we have to go to the final one which is the wall in hillsbrad so i will see you when we get there Alrighty, guys so for the final step here you have to come to thoradin's wall right here at about 8747 in Arathi Highlands and you have to jump up this cart right here and as you jump up the cart you have to then go up the wall and all the way up the wall where you can see those alliance players right now um, I'm not entirely sure exactly how to jump up it but it's looking pretty good I think we might have it here alrighty bam 
Step one complete. That was the hard part. Then we have a little rock wall here that we can kind of jump up. I'm just kind of spamming spacebar and holding W key. Then you jump all the way up here. And then, as you can see, these guys are doing great. Okay, that's just rude. Really? Really? This person's going to attack me. But anyway, you just head up over to there, and then you can get your sleeping bag. But I will uh, show you guys exactly how to get that in a moment, because it looks like this person wants to PvP me. So I guess that's what we're going to be doing here. So the final step is right over there. But I will definitely show you guys that after I defeat this person in some PvP combat. So there we go. We jump right here, run up right here, and then the sleeping bag is right there on the wall with that note. We're going to heal up because these guys might attack me. A little PvP action there. I know I'm on a PvP server. I wasn't trying to complain <laughs> about PvP. But, you know, sometimes people are a little toxic with it, even though we're all just here trying to get our sleeping bag. And so there's some food crates. There's some stuff right like here, but it's right here on the wall. You grab this bag and then you can grab the sleeping bag right like that. So you grab that, grab the sleeping bag, and then you have it just like that. And you can get a nice cozy sleeping bag that you can then unroll and you can get your uh, XP buff with it. So we're going to unroll it and then I don't really know what we do. Okay, then you just lay down in it and you will get your sleeping bag just like that. And then it gives us some nice uh, XP after you sleep in it for three minutes. And we also get this student fodder, which eating this, so we've had eight of them. I ate one just to see what it did. And it gave me 25% of rested XP. So just really, really OP, the student fodder stuff. And then our sleeping bag, you can only do this every uh, three hours. So this is probably not the best place to do it. Um, but anyway, after three minutes, we will get everything there. So that's everything you need to know about the sleeping bag, guys. Um, I truly hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, anything you think I misled you on, definitely drop it down below in the comments. Might help some people out. But I try to be as clear and concise as possible. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. And until next time, I'll see you later. Buh bye if you made it to the end of this video, thank you so, so much for watching. It truly means a lot to me. If you happen to find anyone that you know would also benefit from watching this video, please, please, please share it with them. It helps me out a ton and allows me to keep doing what I love every single day. And that is gaming and sort of helping people any way that I can. So finally, thank you so much. And I hope you have a fantastic day. Goodbye.